1976, Welsh jam rockers Man released their eighth studio album, nearing the end of their initial creative cycle with the Welsh connection. And from that album, Out of Your Head. <laughs> Already you can tell it's got that kind of like drunken, inebriated quality to it. That is such a unique riff. I just love how they da na 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 like just like they're walking, you know, drunk. like an openness to the chordal structure um, and, and certain notes are kind of emphasized. I love that uh, that fizzy this it's, it's like that you got that one like like kind of like drunken stumbling chord structure and then you've got like that fizzy um, distortion that uh, invokes uh, like like a wine glass being spilled over. I'm trying to uh, pinpoint what it is harmonically that that is so like hypnotic about this track because it's in it's it it goes from G to C, to F, and back to G, and the whole time he's basically singing in the third of G, B, and then he moves up to C, to the to the tonic of C when it shifts to C, and then and then stays in C when it becomes like uh, the um, the fifth of of F, um, and then those harmonies kick in. Let so hypnotic about the overall harmonic convergence that's going on of notes, chords, nuances, sounds, backup vocals. That, the way they're harmonized, you're out of your heart. And that sound, that, that. Let's catch up with the lyrics here. I ain't small, you're just tall. And if you think that bothers me, you're out of your head. Easy money, now that is funny, but if you think I'm going to laugh, you're out of your head. Um, so not necessarily tall or small in the literal sense, more like in the monetary sense, I guess. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again, you're out of your head. Um, so I guess this, other, this person that he's addressing has let success go, go to his or her head. Take it all up against the wall. But if you think I'll take it lying down, you're out of your head. So this person is, so the, the, uh, the narrator is not to easily be intimidated or defeated or, um, or owned. Or, well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You're out of your head. You're out of your head. A, a pretty simple message, really. That, that's all the lyrics and just repetition of that line over and over again. <laughs> I 
I guess about the way those two sound, main sounds are, are, are converging, that and Um, let's see now the, 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 the backup vocals, they were, um, singing in G and, and held on the G, um, as, as the chord went to C, they were hanging on the G. So they were singing in the fifth of, of C and they remained in G as it went to F. And so now they were in the two of F. No, they were singing. No, they were in. They were in A right there. Now they're now they're going along with the tonics, as it went like G, C, or like it, it went it went like a one four five progression. the fullness of all of them singing that at once like different voices i guess but they're all you're out of your na 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 f f f f g here we're not changing chords we're just kind of in g so it's they're throwing in like a seventh with their with their vocals With those kind of haunting, kind of ghostly, almost like, oh, vocal, like harmonies. And I'm sorry to have, have tried to like broken it down so much on a musical logical, even more perhaps than I needed to. But I was trying to just pinpoint what the active ingredient was in the harmonic trippiness to the piece it's like it's got this like certain quality that's always just made me you know want to kind of it, it puts me into a certain state and I was like trying to pinpoint what that was I didn't know that the that the message to the track was so simple until I read the lyrics um yeah out of your head by man from their 1976 release the Welsh Connection uh, I almost feel like I should play it again just to, um, this time, play act to it. But instead, I'm going to play the title track. bringing their two greatest assets together um, and to the fore. Um, the kind of, oh, country rock twangy element 
that we heard like in the first few bars. And then the spacey kind of off note vibe, like um, like those chords come in, a few more instruments and, and certain notes are being played kind of against the key center, kind of to, to kind of like dull the, the tonality somewhat in this hypnotic way. And I'll probably spend half this number trying to pinpoint what exactly is kind of the active ingredient in the harmonic trippiness. I guess it's like like sevenths and minors. Let's see, I'm hearing, uh, this is in D, I'm here. I'm also hearing like an open E in, it, in there somewhere on one of the instruments. E, that doesn't feel forced. Yeah, it's, it's basically D minor, so there's F is the third, but I'm also hearing like an open E, so there's like an F and an E, you know. Yeah, neither of those sound forced. Uh, uh. Hear the, the leads just trading off. At I'm, I, we've got two lead guitars center. That uh, like vibraphone, like keyboard. This album is uh, we got two guitarists, a bass, a keyboardist, and a drummer. Um, and so they're they're a five piece at this point. Um, yeah, Mickey Jones and Dick Leonard uh, treating vocals and guitar with Phil Ryan vocals and keyboard. Uh, this 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 wiki entry doesn't give me a lot of info. Let's see if um, oh back to the track and I'll see if I can get more specific info. <laughs> Oh, that's that right there. That that's definitely one of the earworms of the album. This album's produced. It's got this quaintness to it. it. There's sort of like this kind of bassy, muffled quality, and and certain instruments just kind of have this glow to them. And the vocals are so kind of like the the harmonies. There's some like soft voices in there that that adds some real nuance. Hear the fuzzy tone in there. tingly keyboard spine tingling and the alternating with the glowy kind of vibraphone like notes I love how everything is like a minor key in this 
Yeah, going from like G minor to A minor. Uh, G uh, minor seventh, I believe, because there's also like an F. Yeah, yeah, uh, G minor seventh to A minor seventh. I think actually sevenths might be the active ingredient that's giving this kind of dulled sort of trippy vibe in a lot of places. Yeah, because here, here you can go, um, no, no. Like it, like an A minor, you can go like no, uh, and you can also you can also um hum G without feeling forced G. It's like two of them are playing lead, are, are, are trading off lead, while um, the bass is basically um, there, just laying out kind of like thick sustains, kind of full, that, that in, in lieu of a, of a rhythm guitarist here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, boom. The, yeah, the bass is, is just kind of like doing like boom, 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 as the two guitars trade lead. <laughs> and here the, the keyboard is doubling up on the first lead um, with, with those like uh, vibraphone. Uh, sounds. Is that like a Wurlitzer, I think? Wurlitzer electric piano with maybe like a vibraphone switch? Ki uh, I don't know. Did did the did the Wurlitzer have like a like a vibraphone button or to to kind of like approximate that sound? Or 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 a a, a marimba. Like. Oh, hear all these sounds here. Do you hear that 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 like a uh, there was kind of like a wah wah man to go then that that. Sound came in. And... Now it's getting Marshall. Look that marching band precision. Solo, that keyboard solo, that that like, I guess it's like a Moogie's playing now. Let's see. I didn't read the lyrics. Let's uh, kept, let's check and see what those were about. Lights out, standing at windows, time to organize emotion again, eyes closed, nights under street lights, turn them up, 
Don't let them fade away, dream dreaming the nights away, dream dreaming of golden days. Huh. Bright scenes trapped under stage light. What's your poison? Bet you got one as well. Hold tight, wait till the time's right. Make your movie, turn us on to your dream. Dream dreaming of better days. Live, living for golden days. Huh. Kind of a kind of mournful tone. Um, I'm getting through some of these lines anyway. Let me go over that first. Lights out, standing at windows. Time to organize emotion again. Time to organize emotion again. That's an interesting line. Eyes closed, nights under street lights. Turn them up, don't let them fade away. Dream, dreaming the nights away. Dream, dream. This, I'm kind of taking that this is sung from the point of view of someone whose heyday is long past. But they still kind of fantasize that though that they're still in those times, that they're still holding on to those times in their in their head. Um, so it, it it kind of has a sort of a melancholy tone. That that's my takeaway. <laughs> Oh, that 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 note in the D minor key, the no no no. It's it's G. That 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 seventh that they're throwing in that key uh, on the keyboard. Hear that? G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The keyboardist is throwing is throwing a seventh into the the D minor tonality. And the guitarist, one of the guitarists is just playing this one figure that that no 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 Okay, maybe those weren't the notes he was playing, but... I love this fade out. It's just become... It's just uh, kind of careening to its... It's fade out of, of like Marshall drums and that, 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 that G keyboard note and the soloing the oh beautiful that you know those fuzzy notes yeah i guess the the magic of these songs like in addition to the uh to, to the quaint production the quaint bassy remote production kind of sounds like it was recorded like Kind of sounds like the recording equipment or the mics or anything. Um, we're, we're like in a room adjacent to the performance. There's a slight distance in the sound quality. Um, and uh, so, so you just know that you're listening. You, you put this on and you know that you're listening to something from another time. It's a, so it, it's, it's, it's about being transported to another time when you, when you tune into a song like this. And... Um, that that uh, sevenths were constantly in use, as well as minors, and and the mixture of of sevenths and minors um, has this certain kind of like lurching, kind of almost sedative quality, and um, part of the magic is that it wasn't just that a full chord was being strummed in like a seventh minor; it was that certain is that tonalities were, were taking shape through a combination of instruments. And it would be like maybe like one instrument that was like causing the, the seventh or something. Like, in, like as I point out toward the end of that, that track, um, it was the keyboard. And it was also the tones of the keyboard. It was the harmonies, the, the you know. Um, and uh, the, the soft yet full quality of the harmonies. 
and just the subtle dueling of instruments and trade-off of leads and choice tonalities in the keyboards, particularly uh, like mallet tones and those, uh, you know, electric piano arsenal that, that the keyboardist had. And uh, the, that, so that was uh, the Welsh Connection off the album of the same name by Welsh Rockers Man and before that, Out of Your Head from the same album. They're the band's eighth studio album or their 11th if you count their live releases. And they were also quite prolific live-wise and, and known quite well for their live shows back in the day. Yeah. A uh, man very active uh, between 1969 and 1976, and then uh, going into a uh, holding pattern after that for a number of years. For more rubies and sapphires from the catalog of man, see the directory of albums by Welsh artists linked in the description below for red hot tracks and purples from this album and all the ones before it as well as um, albums by many other fine Welsh artists, over um, about 150 titles, uh, 125 titles there about currently. Like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard, the layers, the nuances, the harmonic qualities, the sounds, the tonal colors, the production, the lyrics. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear-travel trimaximist, signing off.